Hello, and welcome to the video covering reaction stoichiometry. Given moles of one substance, we need to find moles of another substance. And the way that we do that when we're doing reaction stoichiometry is to use the balanced chemical equation. So let's look at our example here. How many moles of oxygen are required to burn two and one-tenth moles of propane? All right, so this moles of oxygen, this is going to be O2, and I know that because oxygen is one of the diatomics. Then I have propane. It ends in A-N-E, so that lets me know that it is a hydrocarbon. Propane is one of the hydrocarbons, and they follow the general format CnH2n plus 2 for their subscripts. This probe right there, that lets me know that it's C3. So N equals 3. So it's C3H2N plus 2. Da, 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 that's 8. All right. And then I've got another hint in this. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to write the balanced chemical equation, I'm trying to get the equation because it wasn't given to me. Next, I look at the verb here. It says burn. Burn means combustion reaction. And a combustion reaction will has to have a fuel, air. It's really the O2 in the air. And then when it runs to completion, as we will assume here, it goes to CO2 and water. So let's write this. We have our fuel. That's C3H8, the propane. It reacts with O2 in the air to make CO2 and H2O. Now I need to balance it, and I like to save the O's for last. So the C's first, then the H's. Now I need to get the O's balanced. I see I have six O's from the CO2's, four O's using the distributive property. Let's see, that's 10 on the right, so I need 10 on the left. Oh, 5 O2s will give me 5 O's. Yay! Okay. Now I have a balanced chemical equation. Whew! That's key to solving this problem. All right, so now I use that balanced chemical equation to solve for my answer. Great. I'm going to go through two methods. First, we'll look at method A. Method A, I I'm looking for moles of O2. Now this gets easier for me if I write under the equation what I'm given and what I want to find. There. So given 2.10 moles of C3H8, how many moles, oops, not an equals, how many moles of O2? All right. So I got to get rid of moles of C3H8. Why do I say it like that? Well, I want to divide these out. And I know I can use a mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Notice I call it that because I have a ratio on the top is moles and on the bottom is moles. Mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Now I need this mole-to-mole -mole ratio to follow truth, not to just be made up, okay? So where I get the numbers is from the balanced chemical equation. This will be five moles of O2, and that five literally comes from the balanced chemical equation. And this will be one mole of C3H8. And I get that, again, from, oh, right here in front. That's an implied one. If it were zero, I wouldn't bother writing C3H8. So I know that that's a one out in front. All right. So to solve this, I go 2.10 times 5, and that's 10.5 moles of O2. And if I were really practicing this, I would honestly write my answer in a complete sentence just to let my brain have a chance to process it all. All right, so method B. Method B, I set up a ratio, and we're going to have to do that method in the next video because we're out of time. Thank you, and see you in the next video.